Hi all. So I am again here with an interesting topic in AS400. So that is uh, how you can check all members of a file in AS400. So yes, we have a command in AS400 to check all the members uh, of a file in AS400. That is DSPFD. So let me take F4 here. So here I would be taking C writing the name of cl i can specify the library name now in type of information as you take f4 again you can see there are various options you can select but you need to select a star member list here to see the members of this file so you can see file this CLPF1 library this type is a star member list and now you will be seeing members total number of members is one that is CLPF1 as you can see above and its size creation date last change date and time number of records it has deleted records zero so this is the information which you can see using this so for example if there are multiple members in a file so let me add one member add pfm member 2 sorry clpf1 member 2 so i added one more member to the clpf1 file let me add another member member 3 So you can see mem members for file CLPF1 more than maximum allowed. So basically I cannot add more than two members in a CLPF1 file. So let me change that file using CLGPF CLPF1. Let me make it star no max from two since the max members are two specified here. Now if I add member 3, let's say add one more member, member 4. Now if I do DSPFD again on this, with the star member list information, then you can see all its member, CLPF1, member 2, member 3, member 4. So total number of members are 4 and total uh, records are 2 which are basically uh, present in first member CLPF1. So using this way, this command, you can uh, list out or you can see all the members present in a file. So let me create a PF that is PF1 in Qtemp library and I am not specifying any source file so I am specifying the record list. Let's say 100. So this Qtemp this file gets created in Qtem. Let's see what all are mem what are all members present in this file. So the library is Qtem for now. I am requesting star member list information for this. So you can see record zero member is one pf one. I can also go for other options like for example i can specify output with a star print or a star out file so if i go for a star print it will print the spool for the same qdsp qpdspfd so you can see this information in spool as well so if i go for let's say out file option pressing enter it will prompt for out file name let's say even qtemp so the data is now available in that out file so you can see the same data which gets printed in spool is now present in the 
out file so you can see the member details here so the member is pf1 so let's say i am adding one more member to the pf1 file which is created in qtemp so let's say member 2 so members for file pf1 more than maximum allowed so let me change that utemp cgpf pf1 qtemp take f10 Here, and you can see max members. So I am setting this as a star no max again. Now, if you add the member, the member got added. Now, if you do DSP FD on that, and if you add the record in the same file, and just do run query. now you will be seeing two records since this file has two members now member 2 and pf1 now there is one more option so for example i want to add the output to the out file and i specified out file as a1 qtem so this is now created and i can also specify members as well for the out file file so the file which is created in qtem is qtem is a1 this one now if i add member to this as well add pfm a1 qtem member 2 so the member got added now let's say i am doing the spfd on pf1 and is specifying the member list information now i am adding a uh, record to the member 2 so the out file will be generated the same out file a1 in qtemp library but this time the records will be added to the member 2 so the member 2 will get is already created so it will be added to the member 2 let's say so just do dsp pfm pf1 qtemp member 2 so not pf1 that is a1 so you can see the records are added in that member as well so the first member is already containing the same records so this way you can take or you can make use of the out file so you can have the data in the out file or any member of that out file okay so if i am creating an out file i can also specify the members to which in which the data to be populated and all this information so uh, this is the basic command dspfd and type is star member list which you can use to check all the members of a file in asfondet and you can make use of those out file support or print support to get that information in any file or in any file or its member so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time